I am so glad that you could join us today. Not only did I wake up this morning, but today I get to talk about the Capra and why I am so freaking excited. So I gotta come clean about the Capra, and maybe I already did in the last video, but I didn't build this one myself, yet it has me really excited, especially for custom rigs here lately. And why you might ask, well, these dang portals. I just can't stop thinking about them. Not, you know, they're not the only portals in the market. We have what, the, uh, the Gen 8, the TRX-4, and maybe some other ones in the market that I'm not really aware of. But this axle design is unique in a lot of ways, and it really has me excited for competition again. So, you know, you may ask yourself why, or maybe tell me why the Capra has gotten you excited to play with RCs again. But, it is a very, very svelte design. You know, the, uh, the, the portals themselves are nice and small. There's plenty of gear reduction in the axle though, which is great. But underneath the diff, there is just so much clearance. This is by far the most svelte and high clearance axle that has been released to date. Now, why? Just why does this have me excited? I just want to build a rig off of it. And to tell you the truth, I am very tempted to just yank the axles from a Capra and throw the rest of it into my RC graveyard, but no, not this time. Do you have an RC graveyard of parts like me? You might if you've been into it for a long time, but I am going to resist. This rig is going to stay complete, but what am I going to do with the parts? Well, I will tell you what I'm going to do is I already have a set of axles that I have uh, you know, gotten in trade essentially, but some Capra axles that will be mated to this custom frame. And if you've been watching along with the 3D printing series, you will know that I printed the electronics trays slash sliders for the side of this custom rig. And that's probably the nice thing about the 3D printing is it allows you to do really fast custom iterations of stuff. In this case, print some sliders that would be honestly kind of hard to machine. And, uh, and if you don't like them, you just design them a little bit different and print them again, which is really nice. But the Capra has me so excited to build a custom rig. We're, we're really going to go far on this one. And I have had a lot of help from Chris at Team Garage Hack. Can't thank him enough for really getting me back into it and helping me along with it. So what we are going to do is essentially throw some Capra axles underneath a custom frame and then use one of his creeper or two low transmissions. And these transmissions already have a lot of overdrive built into them, about 30%, which in my opinion for a comp rig is just right. But maybe you like a little bit different amount of, of uh, overdrive in your rig. Let me know in the comments what you are using for yours. But I like 30% for comp rigs. It just gives it enough bite to get up some tough climbs. It makes the turning radius nice and tight. And all in all, it makes for a good comp rig. Now, if I'm only gonna be trailing with it though, I probably don't need nearly as much. And to tell you the truth, just for trailing around, I'm probably just gonna keep the stock Capra as it is. You know, I, I don't need it to be that capable. And to tell you the truth, a rig that is too capable ends up kind of being a bore over time because you're not having to try very hard to get over objects. And a lot of the driving is what is fun for me. I don't want it to be too easy out there. At the same time, of course, I don't want it to be too tough. Now, if you're along the same lines, let me know, or, or maybe you just like to build your rigs as capable as possible. And if that's your type of fun, then let me know in the comments as well. But what I am going to do is essentially base off of these axles a class two and class three Sorca comp rig, C2 and C3, and also a performance scale, which used to be the USRCCA, and now it is the WRCCA, the World Rock Crawling Association. And those are, uh, you know, a little bit more generous rules. You don't have scale points on those. So I think I'm really gonna be leaning more heavy to the performance scale aspect, but if I can have a rig that can go back and forth between multiple classes and multiple sanctioned bodies, then that's exactly what I am going to do. And I am super excited about this. I, I, I'm basically going to make a custom motor for myself because you know, that's kind of what I do. And then working with Chris to make custom chassis, uh, custom skid plates, custom transmissions, and lots and lots of link adjustments so that we can get that anti-squat and the roll center just right for the rig. 
If you have any tips on tuning the suspension on custom rigs like this, let me know in the comments. Because to tell you the truth, the suspension aspect is probably what I am least good about. But as things turn out, usually some people get good at one thing and some people get good at another thing. I happen to get good at motors and that allows me to play along with guys that are good at chassis. And that's probably the best thing in my life is to be able to say, hey, you expert at this, can you help me out? Maybe I can help you out with what I'm an expert in. You know, that's usually how life goes and I really do dig that. I mean, not everybody can be an accountant, but sometimes you do need an accountant, right? That's, that's kind of how things go in life. So now we get the scheme. What are we going to do next on this guy? Am I going to 3D print some more custom parts for it? Maybe get into the scale aspect because you need scale points for C2 and C3. Or I don't know. You tell me what you would do in this situation here. But at any rate, I am so hyped up for this. Just can't wait. I'm gonna be at the Scale Nationals next year and hopefully we will have some custom rigs for it. So I think that'll do for today because I don't wanna give you too much of my secrets on this, but we'll be continuing in the future with this custom build based on the Capra axles. So as always, thanks for tuning in and have a good day.